Yes, yes, yes. It was the moment scientists have waited a decade for. Early this morning, they gave the go-ahead for the Rosetta spacecraft to let go of its lander, Philae. The probe, now on its own, is slowly descending towards a comet. Relieved. <laughs> so we were together for 10 years. It's time to separate, and we successfully separated now. So the lander is uh, alone. It's on its own now. It's... Uh, due to gravity to bring it down in about seven hours from now or six and a half um, yeah. on ground for the landing. That landing won't be easy. The comet's shape makes its gravity unpredictable and with ice, boulders and jets of gas, the terrain is challenging. When Philae gets close, it will fire a harpoon and use screws to lock itself in. Once secured, it will drill into the surface and start analysing the comet's makeup. These comets are, are time capsules from the early solar system, so by examining those we get a feel for what those, the situation was then and how we've evolved to the situation we have now. Launched in 2004, Rosetta has spent the last 10 years hurtling through the solar system, swinging past Earth and Mars to pick up speed. Now hundreds of millions of miles away, it has been sending back detailed images of the comet. They show why this afternoon's landing carries big risks, but if the touchdown is successful, the rewards for space science will be great. Duncan Golastani, ITV News.